Hello, I'm David Pachuda, the Drunken Woodworker, and welcome to my channel. I'm often asked, what's the biggest seller at craft shows? Well, here it is. This wine display is a quick project and is easy to batch out. They sell well around the holiday season as they make a great gift paired with a bottle of wine. Like any project you plan on selling at craft shows, it's best to batch out as many as you can. Let me show you how I make them. To get started, you need a board that's at least 5 and 3 quarters inches wide. I'll start by making a 2 inch wide rip. I'll then move my fence and make a 1 and a half inch rip for the middle piece. Now I'll move my fence back and make another 2 inch wide cut. For the accents, I'm ripping quarter inch pieces out of walnut. If you're following the plans, you need two strips for each board. Now you might be asking yourself, why would I cut a two inch piece on the table saw, then switch the fence to one and a half inches, and then back to two inches for the same board? That's because I want a continuous grain running throughout the board only to be interrupted by these splines here. If I would have cut both two inch pieces at the same time, and then the one and a half inch piece, I wouldn't have the continuous grain pattern that I have going on right here. Now it's time to glue them up. I'm ganging mine together to minimize the amount of clamps that I need. I've got enough material for 22 wine displays. When preparing for craft shows, I always try to batch out as many as I can to make efficient use of my time. Once the glue dries, I'll level them out with a few passes through the planer. Now I'll cut out my printed pattern and use some spray adhesive to attach it to my board. We'll take a trip over to the drill press and drill out the three holes. Next, we'll cut out the shape on the bandsaw. Cut as close to the line as you can without touching it. We'll now sand down to the line on the disc sander. The template should peel right off. If any cleanout is needed in the cutouts, a rasp makes quick work of it. I'm using a 1 8 inch roundover bit mounted in my router on all the edges. In my opinion, anything larger than 1 8 makes the wine displays look a little clunky. The great thing about oak is, you don't need to stand with anything other than 120 grit. For crafts, I like using spray lacquer as it's durable and dries within minutes, allowing multiple coats to be applied within an hour.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I encourage you to make these wine displays, and I hope you can find profit in making and selling them. You can purchase the PDF plans on my website. The link will be down below. As always, stay passionate and make something.